Hi pumpkins! So I just realized that I did not film an intro for the video that I did yesterday which is my everyday look and I just realized that when I was editing last night I came home. Listen, let me tell you very quickly why I did not do an intro for this video. Yesterday I did mention in the video as well that I was going to BJ's for ribs and the whole time the only thing I was thinking was I have to eat. Like I was so hungry. No, I lie. I wasn't hungry. I just, I'm just greedy. I'm just the greedy person. I'm sorry. But, um, I had to eat. So I realized later that I did not do an intro and I was like, you know what, tomorrow I'll just do it. I'll just get it over and done with. One, I like doing this look because it's really easy to do. And two, because it looks the same way every single time. Like, I look flawless every single time I do it, so why not, you know, do the same look over and over. I really hope you guys enjoy my everyday look. It's something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, and I just haven't gotten around to it, so yeah. And you guys, my skin is still, like, it's still bro broken out. I don't know, I don't know if it's the Coke that I've been drinking, because I've recently started drinking Coke sodas again, so might have to give those up, but um, yeah. The first thing I'm going to do here to get started is the skin base massage and I got a little mini size. I, I placed an order and it was like a free gift so I thought, you know, why not? I do have the bigger size to this but yeah. So I don't touch my face as much anymore since it's been like bro bro it's been broken. It's since it broke out, like broken out. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Okay, good. So every time I'm done with my looks, like on my face, I feel like afterwards the makeup looks so light. I don't know. Oh, my back is itchy. What is going on? I don't see the fabric. I don't know. So anyway, ever since um, I've been taking pictures like with my flash, like the back of my phone, the makeup, it looks so light on my face that like, you can see the separation. So I'm going to try using this Pro Long Wear foundation here and see if this because I know this has like a it's, it's even though it's my skin shade it's a lot it looks darker you see what I mean than my skin so I'm gonna go with this today and hopefully this works out I'm gonna take this Tarte Shape Concealer and this is in the shade Deep, and I am going to conceal my eyes, and my nose, and my mouth, and you know, all the places that you conceal, you know? You know? Yeah. So I had to turn my air off because I know that you guys heard how loud it was. And I am going to take my conceal, I mean, my beauty blender and just, what, am, what the hell am I saying? You can see what I'm doing, right? Okay. I'm patting in this concealer. I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and you guys I tried the um, Le Mer powder again I don't know why it's not working for me because everybody uses like oh my god it's the best thing ever and I'm like no it's a hundred and ten dollars worth of is it a hundred and ten dollars or is it like ninety eight dollars basically it's a hundred dollars worth of no it's like no okay I don't know for me I don't know maybe it's not made for me because I know the reason I ended up getting the, the reason why I ended up trying the powder is because I got the foundation in like the darkest shade and it still wasn't like it still didn't work for me it was like um an NC40 shade in MAC and that was the darkest shade that they had really come on Lamar. really so I'm gonna contour with this stick from but it's just Tarte, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, gotta blend that out. 
and I'm using this brush. This is the 128 from MAC. And it's just like this, I don't know, like, um, dual brush. Not like dual fiber, but like two-sided brush. I don't know, I can't remember what this do, but I like it. I'm going to take this little brush here. This is also another brush from MAC and this is the 215 and I am going to blend out that nose contour. I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to take a little bit of my Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Powder and Foundation Concealer. It has like everything in it. Foundation, powder, and concealer. All in one. Okay, so I'm going to take my bronzer in Gyna. That's what I'm going to start calling it. I don't know the name of it, but I'm using it a lot, so I have to find a name to give it. So I'm naming NARS Bronzer. If it's not, if the name of it's not Gyna, that's what it is. And that sounds so like, Gyne. <laughs> Woo, that was funny. Okay, so not funny. I hate myself right now. It's not funny. <laughs> okay. So my battery just died for like the millionth time. I don't know what's been, you know what, I know what's been going on. I wasn't charging it. I haven't been charging it, so that's what's been going on. So I'm going to try to do this makeup look really quickly. So it seems as though every time I try to film when I am applying highlight, it never films. Like, I look at, I look back at, at I look back at the footage that I have already, and the part where I put this highlight on, I'm just, I'm just using a little bit of this Color FX, and I use that to, you know, apply right here. And every time I try to film that, it, it never films. I don't understand. So, I'm going to do this blush. I'm using the same blush that I've always been using from e.l.f. It's amazing. I can't use anything else. I don't know why I just put blush on my forehead, but okay, yeah. I'm going to take some highlight, and the one that I'm using today is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is Peach Nectar. I used to be so in love with this. Like, this literally, they like, broke out of the... Like, it broke out of the pan where I used it so much, and I think that's where I stopped. I was like, okay, I'm really over-exaggerating. I need to stop, and, and I saw it just now, and I was like, why don't I use you? So every now and again, I would use like a different highlight. So hopefully this gets, this part gets filmed. I don't understand why when I'm applying highlight to my skin, it's like my camera's like, no, you can't. You shan't have it. It's like, God, give me a break. So there we have that. I feel like that filmed. I feel like I got that <laughs> this time. I'm going to take a little bit of peach nectar and my nose is separating now from when I applied the, um, shoots when I uh, used that tissue on my nose just now. God damn it. So. Just applying a little powder to it. You see? All right, so I've had this concealer on my hand for what seems like forever. So I'm gonna take a little brush here. I'm gonna use the same brush here, and I'm gonna take this concealer. This is the NC45 that I used on my brows. I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow base. And this, I've been using this technique for years where I just put a little bit of this on my lid. So I've been, for the past month, I've been using my 3502 palette. Honestly, you guys, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I don't think, um, for a while, I don't think I'll be using another palette, but 
it's it's the best so I just take tan I already know a few of these eyeshadows by name now and I'm gonna take this brush here this is a 217 brush and I just apply this into my crease I'm headed to BJ's if I didn't tell you guys already I'm going to have dinner with my family at BJ's I love their ribs so that's where we're going I'm gonna take a little bit of spice and it's a little bit darker than tan just a little bit and apply that to lower down into my crease area because first I just did it like all over and now I'm just applying it a little bit lower and my main objective is to try to use all the eyeshadows in this palette and so far so good I think I have achieved most of my goal <laughs> by um, applying, I, I think I haven't used like two or three of them yet, which is really good because there's like a million eyeshadows in there. I'm taking tan and I'm applying that to my bottom lash line. I take a little of So Warm and that's like a little bit of a darker brown. And you guys, you don't have to do all this stuff if you're doing like a natural look. I'm just an everyday look. Sorry, not like a natural look. But this is kind of like, no, this is not natural. I lie. Natural would be so much less. But um, if you want to see me do a natural look, I can definitely do that for you guys. Show you the difference between a natural and like my everyday look. Because this is a bit much. But that's just who I am, honestly. Like, I'm not trying to pretend like I'm somebody else. I, I'm not saying that I wear this makeup every single day, because then I would be lying. But when I do wear makeup, this is how I look. Seriously. This is what I do. Sorry. I'm going to take a little bit of Tarte Cons Mascara. Oh my god, I got that on my lid. Do you see that? It's a good thing I didn't apply, apply my lid color yet. And this is the main reason why. Something told me. I'm going to take Orb. And this is just going to be my lid color. And I am going to apply that to the lid. Now I'm going to throw in my lashes really quickly. These are the MAC number 35s and I'm just going to use a little bit of glue here. So every now and again, I would do like a red lip or a purple lip, something that's a little bit like drastic when, with my neutral face. But most of the time, I'm sticking with like neutral colors. My favorite so far is this one here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this one is in the shade Ashton. It's so pretty. So this is the one that I'm going to apply today. I'm going to set my face with a little bit of this Makeup Forever Setting Spray. I'm sorry that the video kind of ended abruptly, but that is the finished look. I do hope you guys enjoy this video and you enjoy your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, my pumpkins.